Hey yo, what is going on you guys? It is Sayo and I am back with something a little bit different to the channel. It's actually a game I'm actually pretty interested in. I'm a little skeptical about, but from what I've seen so far, it looks like a great, great improvement from the first edition of this game. Now, as you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be talking about My Hero Academia 1's Justice 2. They finally dropped another trailer. I believe this is the last trailer that will be dropping for this game and released all the characters that are going to be on this game. So I'm just going to be breaking down this trailer and just talking about the things that really interest me and the hopes I have from what I've known and what I've seen in this trailer so far. So without further ado, let's just hop right into the meats and potatoes of why you clicked on this video. In My Heroes 1 Justice 2, they're adding in a bunch of characters such as Deku Full Cal 100%. Ooh, I actually can't wait to play with him. They're adding in Overhaul in the second form, which looks godly, by the way. And they're adding in characters like my man's Gang Okra. If you look at this gameplay right here, ooh, he looks tough. Then we got characters such as Sinji and we got Kami also being new additions to My Hero One Justice and what I'm really excited for is these play modes that they're added to the game they apparently have a arcade game mode they have a mission game mode and it's looks interesting yeah, I know it's a big step up from what it used to be and from what I understand in the first game it was like the bare bones of what these these games like this should be I think that's like a common thing lately with with these games coming out of Japan for some reason they they're cutting shortcuts and giving us what we want in quotations but without any extra to it you know uh, to my understanding there will be a 2v2 game mode in this so you get to play with friends hopefully in this trailer and what you see on your screen they're actually also adding in a hero side and a villain side to the story which is very unique to games like this i feel as though it works very well for my hero because you get both sides of the of the card you get what i'm saying you get one where you go through deku's story and then you go through all the villain stories and stuff so it's it's only going to be more interesting as more of this development when the game comes out in full. This actually looks flames, man. Like the, the fighting always caught me with One's Justice and in the sequel it looked like they ramped it up a couple of notches, especially with these cutscenes. They look so beautiful. It looks so nice. I feel like most of the game isn't gonna be that. It's gonna be a lot of comic panels as you could tell from like the arcade game mode and like I think certain parts of the story is gonna be like that. They may have cutscenes for certain key important moments but what I've seen so far, it's not it's not something that you should expect a whole lot of. I'm so hyped they add in Kendo in there too. He, oh, I'm just letting you know now, that guy was a beast. Like, <laughs> he was a beast. It was something you had to be scared of him because he just wanted to fight. Like, it's the only reason why he was around just to be a powerhouse for the villains. But <clears throat> this game looks very, very, very interesting to me right at this moment. So. I think in the upcoming future I will be making content on this game, especially if it is what I believe it will be, you know. I want this to do really good, so I have something very interesting to play regardless if a lot of people don't like it or not, but I, I actually like what they produce so far from what I've seen in trailers and in the gameplay. It seems like they just cranked it up a lot. and. If you go on the official website, they also talk about like how they they put a lot more effort into this. We just have to wait and see. Hopefully, they actually have things like endless lobbies and stuff. Because from what I understand, that was not in the game as well in the first version of the game. So I don't think I've seen anything mentioning an endless lobby or a tournament mode or something like that. But I feel as though things, those two things, are key features in fighting games like this and others this is not a true fighting game but it is essentially is a arena fighting game it's something that people should keep in mind when developing games and 
uh, I'll hate to see them repeat the same mistakes as they did before. I plan on doing a lot of anime gaming related things and probably some other things in the near future. We just have to wait and see how things pan out. That's all for the video for now. If you like anything that you see, please to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please be sure to share the video. Sharing is caring and it helps me a ton when you do that. Uh, show your family, friends, all that good stuff. You can even show your dog if you want to. <laughs> but for now, this has been Sayo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.